welcome back to my channel Nikki's here and welcome back guys I've been missing you guys so much the last two weeks has been so crazy for me so last time I think I last posted the video telling you guys that I got a new job so I started my new job the first two weeks have been pretty intense just because um, again it's like my dream job and I did not expect them to be like hiring me because I'm just fresh out of college but they did hire me and so the workload is like crazy and they really been they really have been so nice to me like my co-worker the doctors everyone have been very nice to me but I feel the need to like put a lot of pressure on myself just because everyone there is so amazing and I want to be faster so I can help them with the workflow um, I am still pretty slow um, oh let's just get started so okay so my new job I'm still a sonographer and there are so many different like uh, specialties in sonography school right you can do general you can do vascular you can do the heart which is echo you can do what I'm doing which is specialized in maternal fetal medicine what is maternal fetal medicine <laughs> exactly so maternal fetal medicine pretty much is um, we are focusing on high-risk pregnancy so I only see OB patients mean I, I only scan pregnant women and those who are um, at high risk. So for example, those are older than 35, they're at high risk. Those who have like other health conditions like diabetes, um, like myself who have lupus. So in this office, this is all we do. We only scan OB patients and we do very specialized exam. And those are really hard exam, especially when it comes to the fetal heart. Um, but this is my dream job. Like, I've always want, wanted to work at an MFM. I knew that ultimately that is what I want to, to do and an MFM is where I want to be but I did not expect to be getting a job at MFM out of school just because like usually these offices they're so busy and um, I'm just so glad that they're willing to train me and give me my time to like you know learn and practice and I did promise them that um, I'm gonna do my best to be faster and learn a lot, right? I mean, um, so far they're happy with me. The only thing I'm not happy about myself right now is just I'm slow. But hey, it's, it's understandable. I'm fresh out of college and these people have been working for like 15 plus years. So they're like super fast. Um, yeah, so I feel really, really blessed that I was able to even find a job during this time. Um, a lot of my coworkers from the hospital are being let go like left and right. Um, the unemployment rate in the U.S. is like skyrocketing. I think the last time I heard it was something like 23 million people are out of jobs. And um, some of my other co-workers are like pretty much their full-time job. They don't have it anymore. They working like more like a, a reduced hour. So it's it's like part-time. So they do have to like look for new jobs now to, to just make the, try to make the full-time uh, hours. So... Again, I just feel like God has been really good to me in the past, I mean, my whole life. Like, I feel like I've always got what I wish for, and uh, I just feel like I'm so blessed. And besides working, I've just been feeling a little crappy because I'm pregnant and I didn't feel good. But I'm starting to feel better now that I'm 15 weeks. I don't feel nauseous as often anymore, but like there would just be like random waves of nausea that comes like the other day at work. I uh, I went to lunch and good thing like all my coworkers just left their lunchroom to go um, I don't know do whatever and then literally as soon as they left like it hits me I threw up like immediately and I had to like this is gross TMI but because I the bathroom is not there like in the kitchen so I had to like I held it in my mouth gross. But I made it to the bathroom and then I was just like I threw up everything it was so gross so yeah like these days once in a while it just hit me kind of really randomly but i don't know when it's coming but i don't feel as sick like the first trimester anymore the first trimester i told you i was feeling sick every single day like all day long so now i'm not taking any anti-nausea medication um i feel good i can eat more so i just wanted to share that with you guys and i hope you guys are doing well too wherever you are it's looking much better now like around the world like the number of people's getting um you know like coronavirus is definitely decreasing and i'm so proud to share with you that vietnam my mom shared with me and i did look it up too so like literally cunt the whole country vietnam we only had 270 cases of corona zero deaths zero how cool is that 
and my mom said that they're lifting the uh, quarantine like soon um, for the last 20 days there zero like new cases so that's really amazing um, so yeah you know like shout out to Vietnam you guys are doing great but um, yeah I mean here it is getting better but still the same I mean there's still new cases every day um, hospital workers are still you know not having enough protections and it's crazy but hey it is what it is so I'm just glad that I still have a job um, which I'm grateful for and I can't complain I know that the past three weeks before I got this new job I was complaining a lot so uh, I want to I don't know, I just want to be grateful, so, um, yeah. Hope you guys are doing well. <laughs> I'm running out of breath. I know I got so excited that I actually have some time to sit down and talk to you guys, so, um, I just want to, you know, film a quick one before, you know, I have to get back to work. I have so much work to do, guys, for work. So that's another thing. I try to drink more water, too, because I haven't been able to drink as much water, like, before I got pregnant, so this is Sencha? Senj essential water it has um electrolytes so if i can't drink as much even just drinking half of this would like help hydrate me so i'm trying to drink more this is how much i've gotten this whole day it is 6 p.m and literally i've been trying to drink water since this morning and i'm not doing a great job so i'm gonna keep forcing myself Oh, so for today's dinner, it's very exciting. I finally made it to this Vietnamese supermarket that I've been wanting to go to for the last, like, year. Um, I wasn't even sure if they were open, but they did open. So I got to get these, like, Vietnamese ingredients, like, morning glory, this vegetable. Oh my gosh, I haven't had it in, like, 10 years. So I got a bunch. I stir-fried it just now with garlic. It's so amazing. It smells amazing. I haven't had it yet, but I'm gonna go eat and I'm gonna show you. And I also got balut um, in Vietnamese. It's called chung vit, chung vit lon. So it's like a duck egg that been... What do you call it? So there's like an embryo in there. I know it's maybe like gross and scary for some of you, but um, we do eat that. And they eat that in the Philippines and they call it balut. I'm sure you've heard about balut. So it's the same thing. Um, it has a lot of nutrients, so um, it's like really nutrients packed, so you don't have to eat as many. Like, I'm gonna have two today, and I will see if I can even finish two. But I'm so excited. I haven't had it in so long, so I'm gonna go show you guys. And, uh, I took a picture too, so I'm gonna post that on YouTube. Um, what is that? That I usually post like a picture and a little message. But anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. I love hearing from you guys. Even though I know I haven't been posting videos, I've been getting emails from you. Like a lot of you asking me about, you know, my sonography, uh, sonography program, um, about GERD, and I've been talking to you, um, like literally, I would reply as soon as I can. And we've been exchanging, so that's great. Um, even though I'm not making videos, I feel connected to you, so. Don't feel shy, send me a message. I will write back as soon as I have the time. But, um, oh yeah, and another thing, the last thing why I'm so busy is that this new job requires me to continuously like learning new things. Um, and it is a lot of reading, a lot of reading. And they want me to get this certification. Um, it's called a new cold translucency certification in like three months. Well, it's been a month past almost so i've been here almost three weeks so anyway by the 90 days probation period they want me to get that certification and i'm gonna have to work really hard because with everything else going on like you know trying to scan ob i wasn't used to it because i i'm in the general setting i scan other things i only get to scan ob maybe like once a day if i get lucky so now i'm really slow i'm like I know my stuff, like I know what to look for, I know the knowledge, I I just, like, the skill, like, I'm just slow right now. So yeah, uh, besides having to read, read up on so many more information, um, trying to study for that certification, I'm trying to do this during the weekend because like, honestly, during weekdays, after I get home from work, I just get so tired, especially being pregnant, like, I just don't really want to do anything, so... Yeah, so sorry I won't have time to do a lot of videos for you guys, but if you have questions, again, just reach out to me by email. I will respond as soon as possible, okay? Alright, so should we go and get dinner? I'm gonna show you about loot. Uh, 
my back's been hurting a lot i've been trying to ouch it's like my tailbone is hurting i'm trying to do more yoga too because i know it helps a lot because when i scan my arm like it's really tight and my shoulder gets tight so i try to like stretch every single day after work and it's been helping a lot but i don't know why my hip is hurting maybe it's just a pregnant thing oh and let me go close to the latch. i just want to show you something that i'm so upset about since i got pregnant i tell you i think it's a hormone but i'm just breaking out guys and there's not much i can do because when you're pregnant there's so many things you can't use that you can't use retinol cream you can't use um like salicylic acid so i'm just just dealing with this without any solution really try to drink more water drink more water <laughs> but let me show you my dinner i'm so excited This is the morning glory. I stir fried it, it with uh, some garlic you can see here. And then this is for the balut. We got ginger. I chopped up some ginger and this is a, uh, I don't know what's it called in English. Zalzam. Usually we eat it with the balut and these are the eggs. So they're pretty big. And I'm gonna crack one to show you but hopefully I got the right one. Up now. What the hell? It's just that egg? They told me it's good. I'm so disappointed. It's just duck egg! Oh no. No! What the hell? That was embarrassing. The guy told me this is balut. And now it's turned out to be a freaking egg. Duck, I mean it is duck egg but it's not balut. Now I'm stuck with 10 of these. Pretty upset. Really upset. Well, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna still have to eat it. I guess I'm just gonna eat it with my salsam and ginger and with some salt. Bon appetit. So I'm just gonna break it to half. Freaking cardboard duck egg. I'm gonna put on some ginger slices. Sprinkle on some salt. Mom. Guys, that was so embarrassing. <laughs> I was so psyched like, the whole freaking day. Like, I got up really early, go grocery store shopping, and then I got almost everything I wanted, and I thought that was the balut and the guy who works there even told me that was balut and i guess he's wrong and because of covid they even have this like rule that you can't even return or exchange it it's like a really small vietnamese store so well i was gonna have to treat it as regular eggs and i told my brother like please help me eat these <laughs> there's like eight more no seven more well and they're really big too so you can just eat like one of those instead of like two chicken eggs anyway um yeah though and that was not staged at all that was like a real thing you saw like my brother was <laughs> filming me like getting ready to crack it and we were so excited to see the balloon and then it was just an an egg but whatever i mean i ate it it's fine just a little bit disappointed next time i just have to make sure to ask like find a vietnamese person that works at the store and ask them it was my fault too all right guys i just wanted to come and catch up with you guys hope you guys are doing better um my gut is doing better as well i think just along with like the um hormone is like leveling leveling Ugh. 
I guess like the my hormone is also like leveling out so it makes the heartburn less uh, severe I mean I still get it here and there I've been eating really really carefully as well I'm not eating anything that would trigger my GERD I've been just eating very plain like rice and that sesame peanut salt um, tofu eat a lot of soup like, I would make a lot of like vegetable soup and just very bland food but very nutritious um, so yeah as, as, um, I feel like as soon as I step into week 15 of my pregnancy the nausea is getting better the GERD is getting better things just getting better in general so I hope that um, I will enjoy this second trimester before the third trimester, trimester come when usually you get bigger you get more tired you just you're just not feeling well before the baby comes right so I'm gonna enjoy my time now even though I'm working every single day and it's really it's um, we get very busy and um, I keep myself moving so that's good but still it's quite stressful but yeah I have to get back to work now so I'll see you guys next time and hopefully I'm gonna go back to the supermarket and try to get blue and this time I'm gonna try to ask carefully before I leave the store um, but yeah um, I'm, I'm visiting um, a lot today so I hope you guys are doing well, uh, take care, and I will see you next time. Again, if you need to reach out to me, just email me. And uh, yeah, take care guys. Just do the best that you can with the situation. And again, like take care of yourself, eat well, um, stay away from trick or foods. And I know that the food l options might be like kind of less now that a lot of places are closed and maybe groceries are not as you know in high demand so like a lot of the options are not available but just try to make the best of it eating bland is actually very easy so you can keep it up